look like a rip-off Taco Bell parking lot. We were lucky to find this Evo in this area. It's quite rare in the U.S., so I had to jump on it. I oh, I'm just... And I'm literally just delivering a car handle. for this race? What the fuck? It's got a vehicle health bar? What? Are we playing more? GTA and delivering a, sunset, a stolen vehicle? Great sound. Everything's smiling on us. Huh? Chill out a bit. It's literally not even a race. It's just go at your own speed and don't fuck up the car. Huh? They ran out of ideas for this playlist? I am confused. Steam sales been shit the whole time. Even the stuff like that I want that's discounted, is it discounted very see, much? This kind of doesn't look like dog much. shit at the moment. Just look at the interior. No frills, classic Japanese minimalism. But there's always more. Mitsubishi gave us a nice inline four cylinder with already 280 horsepower. That, we're gonna turn up a bit. Believe me, this bad boy is gonna make an absolute Gymkhana beast. We just need to give it a Hoonigan touch. This is about the most boring event ever. Just drive on an empty fucking highway for six miles to deliver a car. I think we add a little carbon to it. A good way to give it some street spirit. Like a carbon hood, roof, and four doors. Did I say a little carbon? <laughs> I meant a lot. Creating a Jumkana car is always exciting. You start with an idea, toss in some passion, fantasy, and insanity, and you get the ultimate car. Two miles. Kinda of disappointed that it's like, they inserted a fucking delivery race in this bitch. Took our telephone pole. Bad. They're gonna rip. What? Gray zone, yeah. I don't even think I have the release date yet, does it? Finally back to the Hoonigan HQ. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Looks Appreciate like it could be dope. Inside. He's gonna take care of Mademoiselle. 